Now let's take a look at Snowflake replication in action. So here's the setup. We're gonna do a demo of cross-cloud replication. We have three accounts across AWS US West, Azure US East, and GCP Europe. And we have a database in the Snowflake account in Azure East US. And our goal is to replicate that database to our Snowflake accounts in AWS US West and GCP Europe for business continuity. All right, now let's switch to the Snowflake application. Here, you can see that I'm connected to my Snowflake application and specifically to the account in Azure East US 2. You can tell that from the URL. You can also run a command select current region to verify that you are indeed in the right region. So we are right now connected to our Snowflake account in Azure East US 2. On the left, you can see the set of databases I have in this account. The Snowflake database is a database that's been shared to my account by Snowflake so that I can monitor my usage of Snowflake. And SnowDB is the database that has my business data. So it has information about my customers, orders, parts, suppliers, et cetera. Our goal here is to replicate this database to our accounts in AWS and GCP. Before we do that, let's run a few quick queries to look at the data set. So I wanna use my SnowDB database and I wanna use my warehouse sahedge underscore wh. And I'm gonna run a quick query to see the number of rows in my line item table. And as you can see, there are about 600 million rows in this table. We can also take a quick look at the rows and columns of the line item table. And as you can see, there are details of the orders, the parts, suppliers, et cetera, in my line item table. Now I wanna replicate this database so let me switch over to the databases tab. And when I select SnowDB, I have this option to enable replication of this database. And now I can select the set of accounts I wanna enable replication of this database to. In this case, I also wanna enable failover because I'm using replication for business continuity. So in case there's an outage, I would wanna fail over this database to those accounts. Now in this list, I can select the set of accounts that I wanna to replicate to. So let me select my AWS account and my GCP account and click enable. Once I do that, I can switch over to the replication tab and I should now see this database under the primary databases. And you can see that there are currently no secondary databases linked to this primary database. I can also see the set of accounts that I've enabled replication and failover to for this database. Now I can go to my accounts in AWS and GCP and create secondary databases that are linked to this primary database. So now let's switch over to the AWS account and we can verify that we are indeed in the correct account by running the same command, select current region. And indeed we are in AWS US West. On the left, you see that I only have one database in this account, the database that's been shared by Snowflake. And now I want to replicate the database from my Azure account into this account. I'll go to the databases tab, go to replication. And if I click on available, I should see this database that's now available to me in this account from my Azure account. I can now create a secondary database, which will be a read-only database with the same name as the primary. And I do wanna replicate it immediately. Once I do that, now under the secondary tab, I can see that this database is indeed created and the replication operation is now in progress. Now I can go to my GCP account and do the exact same thing. I can verify that I'm in GCP Europe West 4. I only have one database in this account at the moment. And I wanna go to the databases tab and replicate this database that has been made available to me from my Azure East US account. Again, I'll create a secondary database. It's gonna be a read-only database with the same name and I wanna kick off replication immediately. Once I do that, I will now see this database is now a secondary database and replication is in progress. Now let's take a look at the demo results. So here we are again in the Snowflake account on AWS and we can see that the replication operation completed in two minutes, 24 seconds. And we can also see the set of steps that happened. The secondary database uploaded its inventory. Essentially, what's the set of metadata and data that I have at the moment? The primary database did a diff 
between its metadata and data and the secondary databases metadata and data and figured out what additional metadata and data needs to be replicated. The primary then uploaded that metadata and data. And finally, the secondary downloaded that metadata and data and applied those changes. Now we can confirm that this database actually did make it through. We can go to our worksheets and refresh the database list and we can see that the SnowDB database pops up and we have the set of tables now listed here. We can also run a couple of queries to make sure that the data did arrive in the form that we expect. And we can see that there are about 600 million rows in the line item table as we expect. We can also take a look at some of the rows and columns in this table. Looks pretty similar to what we saw in our Azure East US Snowflake account. And we can do the same thing with our account on GCP. Here we see that the replication operation finished in about the same time, two minutes, 41 seconds with the same set of steps. Now, what we can also do is select this database and look at the replication history, the duration of the previous replication operations and the size of data that was replicated, the number of objects that were replicated, et cetera. I can also schedule replication operations. And here I can see the set of commands that I can run to do that. Essentially, I can create a task that runs at a schedule of my choice to refresh this particular database. I can also promote this database to become the primary database in case of an outage in Azure East US. And similar to AWS, I can go here in my worksheets to do a sanity check. The database does show up and I can see the set of tables as well. And I can run a quick query to verify the number of rows in this table. Again, 600 million rows. So to summarize, what we looked at is the ability to replicate data across clouds within minutes. In this specific instance, we had an account in Azure East US 2 with one database that we were able to replicate to an account in AWS US West and in GCP Europe within minutes. And we have the ability to schedule replication operations to run at the frequency of our choice to align with our recovery point objective and also the ability to fail over these databases to one of these accounts within seconds uh, to meet our recovery time objectives.